So normally Rachel does all of this, but she's in the back over in the room getting all pretty and stuff, so. We are just wrapping up lunch. We had some, well we finished off with veggie straws with lots of crunching in them. Yes, and uh, even Merritt had some food, lots of vegetables, which is good because he's been kind of sick. Um, yeah, we wanted to talk about mealtime a little bit because we know how much of a struggle it is and can be for when you have little kids. So, and we oftentimes have meals that are lots of bad attitudes and crying from these guys over here, especially that one. Um, so anyhow, here's like four things, four quick things that we, we try to do that help. Number one is not giving options. You know, you get what you get and you don't fit to fit. It was something we say often in our house. And um, I think that has gone a long way because I cannot make meals to please six different people, you know, six different meals at every meal time. So, um, you know, today we had kind of a mixture of leftovers for lunch. So you can give them, you know, we said, do you want chicken nuggets or spaghetti? And you can pick from those two. If you don't like that, then, you know, you got a deal. Another thing that we do is we make them eat their crust. I think this is a good life principle in general because we have to do stuff that uh, we oftentimes don't want to do. And, and if you get in the routine of cutting off the crust and making sandwich a certain way, they're always going to want that. So you're just setting yourself up for always having to do that. Um, that's not to say that um, you can't ever do their meal exactly how they want because you know, she does that plenty of times. I'm a little more firm or strict. but. I just know whatever you start, you're gonna have to keep doing. And we try to always, or try to most of the time, at least make them finish their food. You know, like I said, I can't make six different meals for all six of us every time we sit down. Um, so it's impossible to please everybody every night. You know, if it's something that we know they like and they've eaten it before and they're just having an attitude problem, then they're gonna have to sit there and, and eat it. You know, we um, have had times where they've sat at the table for hours on it. Yes, that one. Hours, I mean, sometimes over one single bite. Um, it's just kind of like a battle of stubbornness, and the main goal is just for us to win the battle and for them to know that it's not about okay, what would you like? Sorry, you don't like that. What can I fix? You know. Um, so, and they've had it for breakfast the next day. Sometimes if they can't finish it for dinner. The last one is really like overarching thing is yeah. don't give in. Um, I know it's kind of hard to to stay strong with a lot of whining and <laughs> bad attitudes. No, do not give in. Uh, I've heard it said that kids are like gamblers and all it takes yes, is one win. Shh, no, we're not going to gamble. Uh, all it takes is one win and they're going to end up coming back 50 more times. So if you give in to a bad attitude at the meal time, it's going to keep happening over and over again. So you got to stay strong and uh, we find that it does get a little bit better in the end. So if you guys have any other tips or tricks on how to kid, how to get your kids to eat well, um, that's something I think we're probably going to be battling until our kids are grown. Um, Hopefully but not. Any help would be appreciated. Yeah, what do you guys do? 